good morning good morning just wanted to pop in uh, with you a little bit and I just got done with the horses that I help with and I'm going back to my house for my regular job the one that actually pays the bills um, but I want but I wanted to make sure that you understand if you're especially if you're a newer person okay so this is for anyone that's newer to the group and for people who feel like they have been estranged for a long time and they're stuck and they can't figure out how to get unstuck I just want to reassure you that yes estrangement is a trauma it is a trauma estrangement is right up there with divorce and death of a loved one and separation and loss of a job um, a miscarriage a car accident it is all up there right up there with those events so if you feel like you've been hit by a Mack truck that's because it has done that to your heart and to your mind so estrangement is a betrayal of your trust it's a rejection of your love it is something that you know starts making you doubt yourself and your self-worth and you and you might start thinking or you maybe you have been thinking that you know hey if these kids that I raised and gave all my love to don't love me then maybe I'm not a lovable person that's not true you are a totally lovable person and you are fine just like you are maybe you made mistakes in the past you can't change that you can only go forward maybe they made mistakes in the past they can't change it either but it doesn't make it hurt any less so when I first um, greet you into the group for, for your new people I usually will put that little thing from Instagram that little video that talks about feeling your feelings and I cannot stress how important that is to feel your feelings so um, the generation I grew up in, Generation X, we we're after the baby boomers. Um, our parents were usually really busy either trying to make a living or trying to make a life or doing whatever they're doing with their freedoms. Um, where we had to raise ourselves. We were like the latchkey generation. We were, um, you know, people that had to figure out what our needs were and try to get them met on our own. And so we tended to be more... Um, like self-reliant and maybe we didn't want to ask for help because we either we didn't know to get help or we thought we had to do everything on their on our own so I forgot what I was gonna say with that but um, give me a second here so oh so that also meant that for me personally, I was told many times, suck it up. Um, maybe not in those exact words, but I was told to, you know, don't cry, I'll give you something to cry about, or don't you start now, or whatever, where I wasn't allowed to express emotions. So what that means is as a mom, as an estranged parent, as an estranged sister, um, as an estranged aunt, um, things like that, for it has been very difficult for me to learn how to just express the emotions, to let them go through. It's kind of like, let's say, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have done this in the past, but here's an example for you. Let's say you're driving down the road and you got your window open and you're a passenger. And I don't, I don't know if you've done this before, but have you ever put your hand out the window and let like the wind like make it go up and down and things like that? If you've ever done that before, and, this, and again, this might be a totally abstract example, but if you've ever done that before and you accidentally catch a bug, you don't want to you don't want to keep it in your hand, right? You instantly let it go and release it, and woof, it goes away. Because if you keep that bug in your hand, all kinds of bad things may happen. You might get bit, you might get stung. Um, I don't know, maybe you'd bring it inside the car accidentally, but you don't think about all that stuff when that's, you know, that's not all going through your head. It's an instinctual, instinctive motion that you do where you release the bug. You jerk your hand back and you release the bug. So this is what I want you to think about with emotions. When you catch those emotions, when you catch yourself feeling the emotion, 
don't don't hang on to it and stuff it down and put it in your pocket let it go as far as like let it go through you through 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 and tell yourself I think I'm sad I think this is what sadness feels like I think I feel sad let yourself feel sad about it or I think I feel angry let yourself feel the anger about it and express it in a healthy way you know don't tear up your house or slash someone's tires or whatever but feel those emotions let them go through your body if you have to cry then cry you know and if you're afraid you're gonna just spill all your guts like in front of people because like for me I don't like to um, let people know what I'm feeling like ever never never I, how are you doing fine 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 if that's how you are too then uh, let me give you a suggestion because what I used to do when I was going through my divorce when my kids were real little and I mean they were so little they, they didn't understand what was going on and I did not want to let them seeing me you know mourn the loss of the marriage is I would set I would get up before they would do they would and if I needed to then I would set a timer for maybe five or ten minutes or whatever and I would just let myself have all the emotions quietly so they didn't wake up or, and or I would journal until the emotions came out so I could feel them and then let them go and I let myself do that for every day every day until whatever issue or new issue that I had to work through came up until I felt like you know I can think about this without um, you know without having those those you know tightness of the throat or the upset stomach or the feel like I can't breathe or um, you know maybe my heart's racing faster things like that until I didn't really have the physical the physical things in my body anymore when I would talk about a subject because like if you start talking about a subject let's say you start talking about your dog or dogs dogs in general okay uh, here's another personal example we um, had a dog that we had to put down because of its aggressiveness um, and so I notice for myself and this I don't know if this applies to you too but the, if it does great if it doesn't that's great too uh, I notice that when I start to talk about dogs my eyes start tearing up and it's not that I'm thinking about my dog necessarily but my body remembers and our bodies keep track of traumas even when especially when we don't process through them our bodies remember what we experienced um, if you were around when let's say JFK was shot you could probably tell in very big detail you know what exactly what exactly you were doing at the time that you learned or heard or saw it on TV um, space shuttle Challenger if you were around when that happened um, if you remember the 9-11 incidents, you could probably tell us in great detail what exactly was going on. And all, all of that is because our emotions imprint this memory into our heads. <clears throat> That's what emotions do. Strong, strong emotions imprint that particular incident or moment or event into our body. And that's because, and that's from when we were cavemen, people, cave people, and trying to, you know, fight off lions or find good food or um, feel safe, things like that. So what I'm trying to say is that if you feel like you're stuck, you probably are, and it is traumatic. It is trauma. People who have not gone through traumas, they don't understand. They don't understand it. Um, it's they can't understand it until it happens to them. So what I'm going to tell you is that every new trauma can bring up those past feelings of old traumas, and we have to look out for that. We did just have an election. And I have seen some posts that wanted to talk about the election, but I'm just going to tell you this. Yes, there may be more estrangements, but it's your responsibility to manage those emotions that come up for you. You have to figure that out. If the outcome wasn't exactly what you wanted or you're afraid of what's in the future, 
you have to figure that out but understand that all of your past traumas incidents um, if you have like a like a spirit of rejection in your in your heart or mind where you know people told you you weren't worthy or you weren't enough or you know whatever that might be or even with our estrangements and you feel rejected as a person then when things don't go the way that you hope them to be you might take it as a rejection a personal rejection and it's not it's not it's an event if you wanted to go to the beach because it was going to be hot and sunny and it turned cold and cloudy and rainy that's not a personal event that's not a rejection mother nature is not rejecting you so I just want you to be real cautious um, because we just had the election we're going we just had Halloween and some people get triggered with that event thinking about reminiscing about old times with their kids and that's normal normal it doesn't mean you're a broken person it means your heart is broken and it means that you have to be really careful now about the thoughts that you have around the situation so that you are not sitting around it's like sometimes if we're not feeling good about ourselves sometimes the least thing that goes on we assume happens to us because of us in spite of us whatever to spite us things like that and we have to be careful that we're not sitting around in our own bad thoughts in our own poopy thoughts in our own poopy diaper so if you're feeling stuck at, you know check in with yourself and say hey am I am I just sitting around in this am I making this worse than I need it to be and if so see if you can get up and and call a friend see if you can get up and go volunteer somewhere see if you can get up and um, you know p pick up for a cause that you have you have uh, an active voice about and see if you can channel that energy so that you're not focusing on me 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 and my navel my they call it navel gazing so you're not focusing on your navel and your problems and your situations blah, blah, blah. when you start reaching out to help other people with whatever they're going through um, you your your mindset changes your heart gets a break for a minute because your heart gets to break gets to break for other people now and what they might be going through so yes estrangement is a trauma and again this is a message to people who are brand new to estrangement or if you've been around for a while and you're stuck and you can't seem to get unstuck I just want to let you know it is a trauma um, if you think about going to therapy trauma therapy would be a fine place to go to if you don't think you need trauma therapy or you don't think you need therapy in general maybe a life coach would be for you maybe they would be able to help you because a life coach isn't going to go back to you know how did you grow up and what medications are you on and this and this and this and this a life coach is going to say okay where do you want to be they're going to help you with your thoughts your thinking and see if the thoughts help you or don't help you they're going to be like a mirror that's kind of what life coaches are more about they're not probing they're letting you reflect yourself back um, get, get yourself reflected back to figure out how you get from point A to point B and um, and some people find that really helpful so it is a trauma it, your body does remember and every new trauma that you experience whether it's physical or mental or emotional or social um, those are all going to have the possibility of triggering all the other ones that you had before especially if you didn't heal those before so I'm coming to realize I have got to do some work about um, uh, oh, daddy issues. <laughs> I got to work on some of the things like that. And I still have to work on things. I'm always working on things about my mom herself. Um, she was really young. So she, she did the, she, her and my dad did the best that they could with me. But she was like 18. So she was like uber young. I mean, it wasn't young for that, that time period. But it is for today's standard. So she did her best. Um, but I have to work it out. And, um, 
and with my siblings estranging me too, you know, and my parents are have passed away already, and my grandparents all passed away, and sometimes my brain says, oh, I'm an orphan, and it's like, yeah, I'm kind of like an orphan, but I'm not really like, literally like six years old kind of thing, so that's just like the little six-year-old inside of me that says, I need something. And so sometimes we have to figure out what it is we need. What it is that we need that's healthy, that's going to help us move those emotions through our heart and our mind and our soul. And through the emotion and, and out the other side, okay? So don't get caught up in that, but do understand it is a trauma. So figure out what you need to do to process those traumas. And then... The other part is you can say no. You can say no at any time to any more um, traumas. If you're having a hard time right now, you can say no to any event that you want to. And you don't even have to give a reason. You have permission to decide what you go to and what you don't want to go to. Just like your estranged kids do. Um, do for you right now in healing, don't worry about what other people think. You know, if you're not up to something, it's okay to say, no, thank you. I'm going to, I'm going to go do something else instead. You know, I'm going to, I don't know, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. You could even just say, no, thank you and move on. Stop worrying about what other people think. Just stop. It's not necessary. Just worry about what you think. Focus on what your thoughts are about you and focus on what your thoughts are about situations that go on. Don't think about what other people are talking about and thinking about and all that stuff. Don't let them tell you you have to think this way or you have to think that way. No, no, no. You focus on you and your thoughts. And let them have their thoughts. And uh, especially when you're tender like this. If you need to stay home, then stay home. If you need to go for a walk in nature, go for a walk in nature. You know, whatever it is you need to do. If you need to plan a vacation, then plan a vacation. And just do what you need to do for yourself. Okay. Love you guys. Tammy Lowe and I help Heather and, uh, in the group and Billy and we are here for you. Um, we hope to see a lot of people posting different situations comfortably. If you don't want to use your own name again, you can post anonymously. That's not a problem. None of us are going to give you grief about it. Well, Heather and I and Billy, we're not, we're not going to give you grief about it. If you post your situation anonymously, don't worry about that. Because we do have some people that think that it's, it's amusing. Uh, they're looking for attention and they think it's amusing to um, screenshot some posts to make fun of people. But that's their issue. You know, if they, if they feel, you know, more superior by putting other people down, and that's something they got to deal with. We don't have to worry about that. So like I said... Go ahead and share all you want to about your specific situation or insights about estrangement. Um, if you are a professional and you're looking for clients, your posts may not go through all the time because this is not a, a place where it's, this is not a pond where professionals can come and go fishing for clients. That's not appropriate for this group. This is a group of private people. Um, if you're, a professional and you're going through situations as well yeah sure please share your situations and what has worked for you um but if you are looking for more clients that that's not going to happen here so anyway <laughs> i gotta get in tammy low i love you guys heather loves you billy loves you we've been in your shoes nearly everyone in this group has been in your shoes as well so keep going start looking for things to be thankful for and grateful for because it does actually change the chemistry in your brain. Okay? Alright, that's it. Bye.